What psychic mediums are most known for? Readings. As I tap into people's energy, I always ask myself mental questions. So I always start with someone's health and I go, how is their health? I do want to talk about mental health more than anything right now too because you have a lot mentally for yourself. The anxiety is one of the biggest problems mentally for you and then you have depression situations for yourself too. What I'm seeing for you is the fact that you know how to conquer this. Like you always know how to step out of it yourself. And I will see their body with different kind of colors around it in certain areas um, to just start getting visions of like anything that has to be talked about. Like if I see um, a woman standing in front of me that could be a mother, um, I get a mother vibration like this is my mother that passed away or someone that was a mother to me. So it's all by f um, feelings and sight. Shelly Lawrence is a client of Christopher's looking for guidance in her life. He kind of helped clear up some of the things that have been going on the last few months, and that's part of the reason I did it. I needed some, as he says, reassuring, because I could probably do it myself sometimes, but... But when her stepfather came through... How long has it been since he's passed away? A little over two years. Okay, because you still feel like it's been since yesterday. Yeah. Do you understand what I mean? Yeah. And that's that abandonment situation, that holding on. And so, you know, like he says, you're loved and all that, but then to know he's really there, you know? I mean, I knew he cared, but just to know he's more caring is, because he, he didn't show love here as much. Just know that he, he constantly wants to let you know he's there. Okay. He does love car rides with you too, because that's the most when you get to talk to him, he says. Yeah. Because when you're driving alone, he says, I'm always listening on, this, on the, in the passenger seat. Yeah. So just know he's always in the car with you. Because I mean, he took me on when I was like seven, eight years old and so it's really good to know that somebody does do care. Christopher saw her stepfather holding her miscarried child, creating even more emotion. How many kids do you have all together? Two. Did you ever happen to miscarry a loss of a child? Yeah. Because he's over here holding one. Yeah. Okay. Do you know the sex of that child? And no, because I was very... It was early. Early, yeah. That would have been another girl. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So just know that he's over here holding the baby, which me and this was why this was a while ago, obviously that you had this miscarriage. He's like this, like a wreck. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's just holding the child away. So just know that he's with this child too on the other side, taking care of this child. For him. Right. Okay. Hearing that her stepfather is around her every day, it brought Shelley the comfort she was looking for. But I always had that pennies from heaven, so I know someone's up there, and especially when I f f see the dimes and the quarters, it's like that's my dad. I know, you know, and then pennies and nickels, yeah, but them dimes and quarters is like, yeah, he's sending me the big ones. <laughs>